Mortal Kombat, 1992 Mortal Kombat is a 1992 fighting video game developed and published by Midway Games. It is the first installment in the Mortal Kombat series and is one of the most successful fighting games of all time. The game features a unique fighting system involving special moves and fatalities, as well as a single-player mode and a multiplayer mode. It is also known for its high levels of violence and gore, which made it controversial at the time of its release. The game spawned numerous sequels and spin-offs, as well as a successful film adaptation in 1995. Mortal Kombat 2, 1993 Mortal Kombat 2 is a 1993 fighting game developed and released by Midway Games. It is the second installment in the Mortal Kombat series, which is considered to be one of the most successful fighting game franchises of all time. The game features a variety of characters, including some from the original Mortal Kombat, as well as some new ones. It also features new moves, fatalities, and a new combo system. The game is also known for its intense violence, which is one of the reasons for its popularity. Mortal Kombat 2 is unique in that it was the first game in the series to feature the brutal finishing moves known as fatalities. Additionally, it was the first game in the series to feature the popular end quote, test your might end quote, minigame. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, 1995 Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, 1995, is a fighting game developed and published by Midway Games. It is the third installment of the Mortal Kombat series and the last game in the series to be released on the original arcade platform. It features new characters, stages, and gameplay mechanics, as well as the ability to play as the bosses in the single-player mode. The game also features a new combo system, as well as several new moves and fatalities. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 also features a tag team mode, allowing two players to team up and fight against the computer or another team. This game is unique compared to other Mortal Kombat games due to its new characters, stages, and gameplay mechanics, as well as its tag team mode. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, 1996 Mortal Kombat Trilogy is a fighting game released for the PlayStation, Nintendo 64, Sega Saturn and PC in 1996. It is a combination of the first three Mortal Kombat games, with a variety of characters, stages, and moves from each game. It also includes some new features, such as the Aggressor Mode and the Endurance Mode. The game also includes some of the more popular characters from the series, such as Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Raiden. The game also features a variety of modes, such as the single-player tournament and the two-on-two -two team battle. The game also features a variety of secret characters and hidden moves. The game also features a variety of fatalities, which are special moves that can instantly kill an opponent. This makes Mortal Kombat Trilogy unique compared to other fighting games, as it allows players to finish off their opponents in a variety of gruesome and gory ways. Mortal Kombat 4, 1997 Mortal Kombat 4 is the fourth installment in the Mortal Kombat series, released in 1997. It was the first game in the franchise to use 3D computer graphics and featured a new fighting system, as well as new characters and arenas. It also introduced the use of weapons, which could be used to attack opponents. The game also featured a new story mode and a new finishing move, the end quote, fatalities end quote. Mortal Kombat 4 was the first game in the series to be released on the PlayStation, Nintendo 64, and PC. It was also the first game to feature a secret character, the Dragon Goro. The game was well received by critics, who praised its improved graphics and new features. Mortal Kombat Gold, 1999 Mortal Kombat Gold is a 1999 fighting game released for the Sega Dreamcast. It is an enhanced version of Mortal Kombat 4 and is the only game in the series to be released exclusively on a Sega console. It features improved graphics, new characters, and a new conquest mode. It also introduced a new fighting system called end quote, Weapon Combat end quote, which allowed players to use weapons during fights. This was a unique feature not seen in any other Mortal Kombat game. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance 2002 Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance is a 2002 fighting game released by Midway Games. It is the fifth installment in the Mortal Kombat series, and the first game in the series to use 3D graphics. 
the game features a new fighting system, new characters, and a new storyline. It also introduces a unique new feature called the end quote, conquest end quote, mode, which allows players to explore a 3D world and complete various challenges. The game also features a variety of finishing moves, including fatalities and brutalities. The game was critically acclaimed for its graphics, gameplay, and story, and is considered to be one of the best games in the Mortal Kombat series. Mortal Kombat Deception 2004 Mortal Kombat Deception is a 2004 fighting video game developed and published by Midway Games. It is the sixth installment in the Mortal Kombat series and the third to be developed exclusively for home consoles. It was the first series game to be released on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. The game features a new conquest mode, which is a single-player adventure that follows the journey of the character Shijinko. It also features a chess combat minigame, a puzzle mode called Puzzle Combat, and the ability to create custom characters. It also introduces the Conquest Adventure mode, which follows the journey of a character named Shijinko who is deceived by a demon named Damashi. The game also features a new fighting system, called the end quote, Create a Fatality end quote, system, which allows players to create their own fatalities. This makes Mortal Kombat Deception unique compared to the other Mortal Kombat games. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks 2005 Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks is an action-adventure game developed by Midway Games and released in 2005. The game follows two Shaolin monks, Liu Kong and Kung Lao, as they battle their way through the world of Mortal Kombat. The game features a unique blend of action-adventure and fighting game elements, as well as a unique co-op mode that allows two players to team up and take on the game together. The game also features a variety of weapons, magical powers, and special moves, as well as a variety of enemies and bosses. The game also features a variety of unlockable extras, such as secret characters, arenas, and more. Shaolin Monks is unique compared to other Mortal Kombat games in that it incorporates elements from both action-adventure and fighting games, creating a unique and exciting experience. Mortal Kombat Armageddon 2006 Mortal Kombat Armageddon is a 2006 fighting game released for the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and Wii. It is the seventh installment in the Mortal Kombat series and the final installment of the original Mortal Kombat trilogy. Armageddon is unique in that it features the largest playable roster in any Mortal Kombat game to date, with over 60 characters, including all the characters from the previous games. It also features a new fighting system, allowing players to customize their characters with various fighting styles and special moves. The game also includes a new single-player conquest mode, which follows the story of the game and allows players to unlock new characters and arenas. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe 2008 Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe is a crossover fighting game released in 2008. It is the fourth installment in the Mortal Kombat series, and the first to feature characters from the DC Universe. The game features a unique blend of Mortal Kombat and DC Universe characters, along with a new fighting system, a new story, and a new ending. The game also features a new single-player mode, which allows players to play as either a Mortal Kombat or DC Universe character. The game also features a number of new and enhanced features, such as a new tag team mode, an expanded roster of characters, and improved graphics. Mortal Kombat 2011 Mortal Kombat 2011 is a fighting game developed by NetherRealm Studios and published by Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment It is the ninth installment in the Mortal Kombat series and a reboot of the franchise. The game contains a unique blend of 3D graphics, classic 2D fighting gameplay, and a storyline that follows the original Mortal Kombat tournament. The game features a wide variety of characters, including both classic and new characters, and a variety of fighting styles and special moves. Mortal Kombat 2011 also features a deep and engaging single-player story mode, as well as an extensive online multiplayer component. It is the first Mortal Kombat game to feature a fully 3D fighting engine, and the first to introduce multiple fatalities and X-ray moves for each character. Mortal Kombat 10, 2015 Mortal Kombat 10 is a 2015 fighting video game developed by NetherRealm Studios and published by Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment 
It is the 10th main installment in the Mortal Kombat series and a sequel to the 2011 game Mortal Kombat. The game is unique compared to other Mortal Kombat games as it features a new, dynamic story mode that takes players on a journey through the various realms of the Mortal Kombat universe. Additionally, it features a new fighting system that allows players to customize their fighters with various special moves and abilities, as well as a range of new characters and stages. Mortal Kombat 11, 2019 Mortal Kombat 11 is the latest installment of the popular fighting game series. It features a variety of new characters, stages, and features, as well as improved graphics and gameplay. It also includes a new end quote, combat pack end quote, system, which allows players to customize their characters with different skins and gear. Additionally, the game includes a story mode that follows the events of the previous game, Mortal Kombat 10. This makes it unique compared to other Mortal Kombat games, Thank as you it for provides watching. a more in-depth experience if you enjoyed to the, the video, series. Please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to me and helps me create even more content for you to enjoy. Thanks again for watching.